So guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. Here are three of the top phones for good camera quality. This is the Pixel 9 Pro versus the iPhone 16 Pro versus the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, the reason I'm doing this comparison is that I've already talked about the cameras on these devices, but I think a lot of people might have missed my coverage on the Pixel 9 Pro's front camera. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again here and officially compare it next to phones that are definitely going to be considered top tier when it comes to recording video. Now, the, most of the time when I'm doing video, it's on the rear camera and because the rear camera is going to give the best coverage but or footage. But what about the front cameras? So to start, the S24 Ultra here has a 12 megapixel of camera with dual pixel autofocus, 26 millimeter wide lens and it's f2.2 so it can record in 4k it can record up to 4k 60 uh and it also does 1080p at 30 frames per second but this is a very high powered front camera uh and it has hdr and hdr 10 plus yeah so that's a high powered camera now here's my iphone 16 pro and this camera is even more advanced it, it has a 12 megapixel at f 1.9 with a 23 millimeter wide field of view. So, and it also has dual pixel autofocus, but this has Dolby Vision, HDR, 3D, spatial audio, stereo recording mics. It can record up to 120 frames per second on the front camera in 4K, in, in 1080p, I'm sorry, 1080p. So the front camera can do 120 frames at 1080p, and it can do 25, 30, 60, and 120 frames. That's just crazy. With EIS and also the front camera does 4k 25 24 30 and 60 frames per second this camera is way more advanced on the front than both of these phones right here combined it's just a lot more advanced on the front camera so the pixel being the challenger here because this video is really about the pixel to see just how well it can do just shooting on the front camera the front camera on the pixel is 42 megapixels folks with a 17 millimeter wide lens, it is good. Like, it has a good field of view. But it's f2.2, but it has dual pixel fit, uh, autofocus, and it has HDR in a panoramic mode. So, and it can also do 1080p at 30 frames and 60, and 4K at 30 frames and 60. So, in, in theory, it's kind of the, it has the least amount of like tech specs, if you will, because it doesn't have HDR 10. Plus, it just has HDR, and the pix and the iPhone just slaughters all of them on, on paper with with the with the numbers here and what it's offering. So, let's put this to the test. Let me go ahead and fire up these cameras here, and we're going to show you the content. Now, I want I'm going to go outside, and I'm also going to sit in the dining area. So, there's no controlled lighting for this video. It's just sunlight outside, and then, um, yeah inside the windows are open in the, in the dining area that's it so let's see what you think about this footage let's go so advantage should be to the pixel uh but we all know what the samsung and the iphones can do so let's check it out all right guys battle of the front cameras here is the s24 ultra uh front camera this video is only going to be on the front cameras so um we all know samsung has the best and yes i'm talking at a very low tone because it's early in the morning at the recording of this video. So I'm gonna step out into the elements here. Whew. But this is what the Samsung S24 Ultra looks like. Oh man, that's beautiful, right? You put the sun right behind the camera. Excuse my junky backyard, I'm remodeling some stuff. Uh, but this is what it looks like. And then I'll switch over to the next device. And um, I wonder how this is gonna be because I am talking at a much lower tone. But let's switch over to the next device and remember the s24 ultra uh, has a 10 megapixel front camera or excuse me 12 uh, megapixel front camera 12 megapixel front camera now here's the iphone 16 pro front camera only stepping out into the elements again speaking at a little bit lower tone just to uh, be quiet this and you know it's early it's early in the morning early in the morning we record this video like peak time and it is oh 100 degrees already it's ridiculous Whew. yeah but here's the here's the uh, iphone's front camera it too has a 12 um megapixel front camera i believe as well yeah 
this is what it is on the front camera. Battle of the front cameras. Now here's the Pixel. Now the Pixel should have the advantage because it has a 42 megapixel front camera. So a lot of people have been excited about this, this front camera and I too am excited about it because when I first did the footage on it, I was extremely impressed with the front camera. So I'm going to the LMS once again. This is the front camera on the Pixel. Megapixels only mean so much, I think, is how the quality is processed uh, for, for sure. So, But this is the highest megapixel front camera in this comparison. Every time my dog gets uh, a grooming shampoo, she decides to roll in the grass in the heat. Ugh. All right, here we are indoors with the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, there's not a lot of light going on here. There's just my two windows behind the camera, and then there's light off to the side here, but this is where I usually vlog at sometimes when I'm shooting content. Um, no portrait video, nothing like that, just regular old 4K video on the front camera, and this is the quality. So remember, the the um, Ultra has a 12 megapixel camera at uh, f 2.2, I believe it is, uh, and this is this is what you, I believe it's 26 millimeters too. Uh, but you know, this is the quality that you get. I'm talking at a, a more normal tone because I'm indoors. You know, I don't want people to hear what I'm saying outdoors. But nonetheless, I'm indoors, and this is the front camera on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now I'm going to switch over to the next device. All right, so here's the iPhone's front camera. And with the iPhone, you could use your 16 Pro or your 16 Pro Max and you're gonna get the same quality. Same thing with the Pixel, you can use your 9 Pro or your 9 Pro XL, and you could even use the 9 and get the same quality from the Pixel. Uh, but here it is, the iPhone. iPhones are known for having some of the best video. Uh, same scenario here. You can see how the iPhone changed. Uh, it looks like the iPhone makes everything brighter as I look at the viewfinder, but um, I'll see afterwards. Well, I'm looking at it with you now. I always do that. Uh, but um, just indoor vlogging uh, in this particular setting right here, this is what the iPhone is going to give you. Now, I'm, temp I'm tempted to do, I was tempted to do um, portrait style video, but unfortunately the pixels don't do portrait video on the front camera and it's only 1080p on the rear. So a slight disadvantage um, to the pixel for that part. Uh, and you can adjust the uh, settings on the Pixel, but I'll get into another video. Shout out to Grant S, my man. But let's go ahead and switch over to the Pixel now and show you what it looks like. All right, so here is the Pixel. Again, no settings or anything or any change in here. The phones are just going up on the tripod, uh, and I'm just sitting here talking. So you probably notice with the Pixel, there's much more in view. And I very well can hit another icon and zoom in with the Pixel's front camera. Uh, but this is the actual, this is the default uh, view here. And there's a lot more view. Um, but this is what it is. So if you're wondering how well 42 megapixels uh, at f2.2, and the iPhone is f1.7 at 12 megapixels, but this is 42 megapixels at f2.2. And this is what their default camera is on the front. If you vlog and you want to look at yourself and see how you're positioned in the viewfinder, this is what you are going to be faced with. So, I mean, the Pixel has the advantage also for vlogging on the front because it has the enhanced voice. Um, but all these phones probably sound really good for, for vlogging with them. They, they all have pretty good mic, especially the iPhone with the four microphone array. Uh, and if you're recording a, with the back of it, it's really, really, really strong. So here's the Pixel. Uh, and uh, now we need to talk about how we feel about these things. Let's go. All right, guys, so what do you think? Did the Pixel really beat up on the iPhone and the S24 Ultra? Or did these two phones still do better than the Pixel? Now, and I looked at the footage on an actual TV and I actually looked at it on a computer. Uh, I looked on a big monitor. And the fact is, I think indoors, this phone just kills it's really good on the front camera and it's going to be great for vlogging 
Uh, outdoors, I think they all did fairly well. The Pixel definitely produces more detail from what I could tell. Now, I'll go back and look at it again. I'm actually looking at it with you right now. So I think that Google has, in fact, done a phenomenal job with the Pixel on the front camera. And that's speaking volumes because these two devices have killer front cameras. I still think the iPhone has some of the best video that a person could want on the front or the rear. But I think indoors, this actually did better. It's strange saying that, but the Pixel actually did much better from what I could tell looking at it on a large, I looked at it on a 55 inch screen. I actually have a 55 inch monitor, folks. Um, and then I looked at it on a smaller screen. So one thing to note is, I always tell people this, depending on what you're looking at these videos on, that's gonna determine how you feel about it. If you're looking at it on an iPhone or a Samsung or a Pixel, you're, you're gonna see this in a different light. You're gonna see the colors reproduce differently because all these phones produce the footage completely different. That is just how it is. So it, it's strange that um, it's that way because the panel, some, a lot of the panels are basically Samsung probably, but I will say this, try to look at this on a laptop, a computer monitor, and you can really get the gist of how well it's actually doing how these phones are actually producing the content. You need a screen that can produce all the colors properly. And I will say all of these phones can do that, but they're, they all produce footage differently. I can play the same video right now and the screens will all make them look different. So bear that in mind when you're looking at the content. But I think in this scenario, the front camera on the Pixel did in fact do extremely well. It is 42 megapixels with a nice wide angle lens. I mean, it's it's great. It's it's a phenomenal way to shoot video. You get two options on the Pixel as well. You can zoom 1.4 or 1.1. 1.1 obviously is the wide angle lens, so you can get more people in in the background. It just really slaughters, man. It does extremely well with getting a lot in view. I put the phones in the same scenario, especially sitting at the dining table. <clears throat> the, the dining room table, it's it's way more in view with the Pixel. It's incredible. Uh, and I think they did a good job on that. So hats off to Google for this phenomenal front camera. But um, seeing it compared to, I'm curious to see what, what Samsung's gonna do, but seeing it compared to the iPhone and the iPhone's footage is phenomenal. I, I've always said that the iPhone's footage is better outside. I think all phones are better outside. And I think the iPhone did extremely well considering, but you have to remember the way you're looking at it is gonna determine it. Now, I looked at this footage on an actual monitor and I felt like the Pixel did very well and actually looked probably a little bit better. The colors are a little different, but it had more detail, I'll say. Um, so that's my take on it. Um, and let me see, I could I could probably, let me see if I can, let me just, just let me just see it. I think I still got it on here. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna pull the footage here and I'm gonna look at this footage here. On the iPhone, it looks great. Now let's pull up the Pixel here. That looks really good, <laughs> it, it really does. Um, but let's go ahead and pull up the Pixel. Oh, let me grab the, hold on, I think I did this one. Pull it as a Pixel Pro. Here we go. On the phone. So here's the Pixel. I gotta use this one here. I use the Pixel 9 Pro XL to do it. Same thing though, same, same cameras. And let's pull up the Samsung. And just looking at these this footage here. Uh let me let me crank the brightness up on here to see if the brightness is up. Oh yeah, the brightness is way down on the Samsung. So I'll put the brightness at 50%, but you know, nonetheless, when I look at the footage on here, they all look different. These all look like they're producing the footage differently. So even looking at it like this, the Pixel has way more detail. And if you look at the surrounding areas here, the Pixel has way more in view. Uh, there's no vignetting or anything like that. You can pretty much see the stairwell there. You can see some more stuff in the living room. Uh, and I'm positioned in the same spot, pretty much. Uh, colors on all of these look pretty accurate. They look pretty good. Uh, the Pixel just has more detail. It has more detail. That's that's simply what it is. So 
I would say I think in this situation the Pixel did do very well. And again, uh, I, I I grabbed the Pixel 9 Pro XL to shoot the video, but it's the same same type of footage on the um, on the Pixel uh, as well. The the this this Pixel it's the same footage. Everything's the same. So, what do you guys think? about how these phones produce the footage tell me what you think in the comment section i think the pixel actually did pretty good i do like how smooth the iphone looks and the the color representation on the iphone kind of matches the pixel uh it, it, it literally matches the pixel uh like with the background and everything and in this situation the samsung is displaying the colors a little bit different uh but the the I think they all look good. I just, it's it's hard to say that one looks better than the other. Uh, but in reality, I think the Pixel just has a little bit more detail. And that, it should be that way since it has a 42 megapixel front camera. And folks, that's, an, that's, that's a, a, a lot of megapixels for the, front, for the front camera. So they're wanting you to vlog with this camera. And you also have the enhanced voice as well. So it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. What do you think? Am I way off in my my, my uh, analysis, or uh, is this a pretty fair, reasonable way to look at these these front cameras on these devices? They all look good. When you put them next to each other, the Pixel has more detail. What do you think? It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.